I should be the lucky mascot for these visitors because Napoli are plus 435, Empoli are plus 1000. Empoli not to score is minus 109. I went with Empoli not to score a couple of weeks ago and they scored twice uh, against Fiorentina and uh, they've not done it since. Uh, Napoli to score three is at minus 115. Again, this is, seems to be a popular uh, scoreline this weekend, uh, Mina. I've got Napoli to win this 2 0. They should win this 2 0, but then do you really. I mean, Union Berlin have not <laughs> won in 12 matches and somehow managed to score a goal against Napoli and actually finally get a draw to break that horrendous run up that they've had. Yes. It was a counter attacking goal. It should never have been allowed. It just shows you the defensive weaknesses and it shows you the fact that this Napoli side really switch off. It's very irritating because for a long time, you and I have always talked about Napoli being this, just the side that's... In Italy, we call Inter, Pazza Inter, because they're never consistent. But they've been consistent. And it now seems like it's Pazza Napoli, which means that they're constantly crazy. You don't know what to expect from them because you don't... They're not that machine that, for example, Inter is or, or Juventus is, which is like, they'll just do what they have to do to get a goal. They can sometimes just switch off. And it's, it's very moody. It's very unpredictable. So Napoli... Also worth mentioning that they haven't won at home since the 27th of September. So for the last month, they've lost twice and drawn twice at home. In fact, in the six matches, seven matches that they've played, sorry, I had to count in my head, at home this season, they've only got two wins out of seven. Only two wins for the team that were the champions last season. And this freaks me out because something's going on when it comes to their home performances. They're just not giving as much as we, we've seen them give usually. And even when they dominated against Milan, they still conceded two goals in the end and Milan could have gotten the winner. So it's a little bit, it's not that great right now for, for Napoli. Again, they lost to Fiorentina, they lost to Real Madrid. You can sort of understand that. The win came against Udinese and the other one was against Sassuolo at the very start of the season. And so I do have some question marks, but... Napoli should win this because it's Empoli. And Empoli have had a really hard time scoring goals. They were fabulous against Fiorentina, but since then they haven't really been fabulous, obviously, from what we've seen for them. Um, they lost last week to Frosinone. Frosinone, if you didn't know, is Nick's favourite team. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, they, they did at least, you know, manage a, a draw as well against Udinese uh, and then got the win against Fiorentina. But the side isn't very good. It can't really score that many goals. Having said all of that, Napoli are so awful at the back that I wouldn't be that surprised if, if Empoli got a, got a goal. But Napoli should win this 2-1. I think the angle here is that Empoli don't score at minus 109. I think that, I that's know. the safest way. It brings. I've got Napoli win this game 2-0, uh, Nick. A little Raspadori, he can do a bit. Politano can do a bit. I just don't want Napoli scoring two and going absolutely bonkers because when they go absolutely bonkers, eight men go forward and they leave the back door wide open. Exactly. Yeah. I like doing the show with you guys because it's like we, we go through these ups and downs and these pains of these teams putting the surprise results together and then we talk about them for weeks and weeks and weeks. I feel like on match day 38, we're all going to still say, remember that one time Napoli won 2-0 over Fiorentina? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. I like, feel like... It, that was that was their well, season. I'm um, right? scarred like for life. <laughs> is it is it really going to get better than that for this team? Really, that's what I'm I'm questioning. You know, reality has set back in, back to back losses against Atalanta and, and you mentioned it, Mina Frosinone. Although they did score that one goal against the latter, however, that is just the third match they found the back of the net this season, scoreless in eight. I mentioned the Fiorentina win, of course, but against the true top teams in this league, the results for Empoli this season: two nil versus Juve, seven nil versus Roma, 1-0 versus Inter, 3-0 versus Atalanta. Obviously, something consistent going on there. Napoli is not scoring. And yes, Napoli has not nearly been the same Napoli that we've seen last year, and they are, at least on the surface, conceding more than they had last year. But if you kind of look behind the scenes and the chances that they're, they're, they're allowing, they're allowing .94 expected goals this year. Last year, they ended the season allowing .84. So it's not a drastic difference. The key for me is what have they done against the weak teams? They won 2 0 against Salernitana, 4 0 against Lecce. They did settle for a 0 0 draw against Bologna, 2 0 versus Sassuolo. Uh, you mentioned Union Uni Berlin getting the 1 1 result. They did at least win 1 0 the first time around, so they are more than capable of keeping 
the teams that are not good and the teams that they should control possession uh, off the board. And I think that's what we'll see here. So I'm going similar route I went with Juventus. Napoli should win. I don't like the handicap at minus 1.75. I think that's a big number. So I'll go Napoli to win to nil. I don't see Napoli get on the board. And what, what, what is that Napoli win to nil? Uh, what's the price? Even, even even money. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. sounds sounds good. I do like. I, I do think that they've got the creativity, Napoli, to uh, to score a couple of goals. And against Atalanta, Rempoli, honestly, it could have been ten every time they went forward. I mean, Atlanta even had their right back and left back bombing on in the box because they all fell. You get a sniff in games that they can get on the score sheet. And you know, defenders don't get on the score sheet very often, and they were diving in the box. Let's have a look <laughs> at the official picks. Nick, win to nil for Napoli, plus 100. I'm going to put another leg of Empoli not to score at minus 109. I think there's not going to... Both teams score no. Could be a little parlay here as well this week. Let's... 